So, Amman's agreement theorem consists uh, we took the situation where there were two players ok. So, we have an we had an Amman model of incomplete information with with beliefs and uh, we considered an event A suppose let A be an event and let suppose there were two players players not denoted as capital this Roman 1 and Roman 2 ok. So, and the uh, the state the statement of the theorem was as follows. So, if the event that player 1 describes probability q 1 to event A is uh, yeah, let A be an event and uh, I should forget, I forget and let omega be a state of the world. So, let uh, if the event that player 1 ascribes probability q 1 to uh, to event to event A is common knowledge in omega. So, it means the event that player 1 ascribes probability q 1 to event A. This event is common knowledge in omega and the event that layer 2 ascribes probability q 2 to event A is common knowledge in omega then q 1 equals q 2 ok. So, the this is what Oman's agreement theorem is about. So, Oman's agreement theorem assumes that we have a Oman model of uh, of incomplete information with beliefs that means we are starting off with common priors. There is a specific event that we are discussing about uh, for both players. Players may have two different partitions. So, they may get information about about the chosen state of the world through two different media and through different levels of fidelity and so on. But there is agreement or there is the the the, the structures that lead them to uh, to compute their beliefs about this event these structures are common knowledge. So, everybody knows that everybody knows that 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 it is a dot 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 that player 1 has computed probability q 1 for event A. And likewise, everybody knows that everybody knows that so dot 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 that player 2 has computed probability q 2 for event A. Is this clear? So, we, what this means is all the the so everyone all everyone has there is complete agreement and complete uh, um, uh, sort of consensus on the states of the world in which such and such probabilities would get computed by these players. Okay. So, whatever are the underlying causes or the underlying states of the world in which the players would have ended up with these values, those are comp are common knowledge. Okay, Th that event is common knowledge. Okay, so the so the event that player one ascribes probability q one to event a is common knowledge, and event that player two ascribes probability uh, q two to event a is common knowledge. The question that Oman asks is: Is the in this case can these two numbers q one and q two be distinct? Is it possible that players have started with a common prior? We there is complete agreement on the circumstances in or the these the underlying causes in which players would compute a certain posterior probability for a and both are computing posterior probabilities for the same event, right? For that event A. In this case, is it still possible that the value of the posterior probability that they compute is different ok. So, what this means is players have started off with common beliefs they get different information ok, but the but there is complete agreement on the 
uh, frameworks or the the methods or the processes they have for updating their information their beliefs can they then still end up with diff two different beliefs okay now this is this is this is actually uh, uh, this is actually an interesting question because players are getting different information okay but there is agreement on the process they are getting different information it would be trivial if players were getting the same information obviously their posterior beliefs would coincide they are getting different information the partitions of diff of both players are different they are getting different information each is observing the way the world in their own different way but they have a way to agree on the methods that each will apply to compute their posteriors right so they have a way to sort of to to reconcile each other's different points of view when computing the 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 posterior distribution of this particular event okay question then is is it possible that they still have two different views about the event after getting the information so before getting the information they had common priors so which means they had the same view the probability is that the prior probability of a was the same can the posterior probabilities be different if there is agreement on the pro on the process all right and omens agreement theorem basically says that it is not possible it is not possible that these two be different okay so in other words if you see two players disagreeing okay disagreeing doesn't mean that they have to fight say for example in a in a financial market the, there is always a buyer and a seller right so the reason there is someone willing to buy and willing to sell at a particular price is because there is a disagreement on where the price will be the next moment the buyer feels the price will be higher or you can say the he has he has a a probability so let's say player 1 is the buyer he has a probability q1 which says let's say q1 is greater than half he has a he puts a higher probability that the on the event that the uh, the stock will go higher that the price will be higher at the next instant the seller has a has a higher probability that the stock will go lower these are two different players who are talking of the same event right but computing two different probabilities for that event right so uh, this uh, so the uh, the the question that oman asks is well wh what is the cause you can say in some sense of of this disagreement why is there one fellow who thinks the price will go lower and one fellow who thinks the price will go higher and he according to so he, what this theorem basically narrows down to possibilities either you started off with different priors or you disagreed about how you are supposed to interpret the information you are getting what what do you mean by what is enforced Hmm. Correct. In this exam, so that's what I am saying. So, so if if these two probabilities are not equal, then at least one of these has to break down. Either the common knowledge nature has to break down, or the fact that they started with a common prior has to break down. So, if the fact if they started with a common prior, which means they didn't agree to begin with. or if they if they started with a common prior but but yet are coming up with two different posterior probabilities which means that there is there they somehow don't see eye to eye on the process by which they are to recompute their probabilities okay or the scenarios in which they would each lead to a certain computation of the probability okay so 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 if you if you find for example uh, two two analysts of a, of a two stock market analysts coming up with two different recommendations then one of these two is is at is at uh, at play here either they interpret the events incorrectly or they they just didn't agree to begin with in the sense that they were biased to begin with okay they interpret the events differently in the sense that they they both some at some level there is something that the other that we cannot say that this play, this analyst knows that the other analyst knows that the other analyst knows and so on so there is no complete agreement on how we are how they are to 
arrive at the new posterior or what are the scenarios that could have led to that that are leading to this particular posterior okay all right so so let's let's do the proof of this so the proof is not that yeah base yes yes so process is base so process is base rule but uh, so that is just the formula part of it but there is also the scenarios right so what are the omegas in which base rule leads to this numerical value of the probability those set of such omegas that event is whether that is common knowledge is the question okay so so are they yeah essentially that is the uh, so that that event being common knowledge see as i said events are common knowledge when they are publicly witnessed by players you know that is one of the co most common ways so so there is uh, so so this event so becoming common knowledge would imply that they are both simultaneously um, ex exp or or uh, simultaneously and concurrently experiencing the update of or the uh, uh, obtainment of new information and then update of the problem all right so let's let's do the proof of this so if you remember uh, so we'll be using the structure of the um, of of sets that are common knowledge so if you remember we had created this uh, graph uh, on the set on the states of the world in which uh, there were there were edges if there is at least one player who cannot distinguish between uh, two states of the world and we have we say we showed that there is a minimal set that is common knowledge in every in every state of the world and that set is the co connected component of the graph that contains this this state of the world okay so so let c of omega be the connected component containing omega okay it's a connected component of that graph and now remember also from the proof of of that of this this result we had also shown that c of omega is common knowledge in omega is um, common knowledge in omega that is one moreover c of omega can be represented as a union of elements fi from this fancy fi from the partition of player i and this was true for a, for each player i so for every player c of omega would be represented as a union of elements of his partition okay so let uh, we can actually write it like this so that means that c of omega is equal to union over j fij where j indexes index for the element of the elements of fi the partition okay that means in other words fi j is in this fancy fi for all j now what is the we what we now want to do is we want to uh, we are uh, let's uh, we let's cal calculate the posterior probability of a so i'll maybe draw a diagram here So this is y and okay. and uh, this is one partition And uh, this is let's say another partition. 
okay i'm deliberately drawing it in this particular way uh, and let's say the i'm going to shade this with green this is my So, this here, so let us say for example, uh, this point here is this point here is omega. The green region, the green region here is C of omega, ok. And the way the reason I have drawn these partitions in this way is so that you can appreciate essentially that C of omega is now the union of elements of partitions from both the red partition as well as the blue partition. Okay, so okay. Now we what we know is that this fact is common knowledge that layer one ascribes probability q one to event a. This is common knowledge in the fact that player 1 ascribes probability q1 to event a this is common knowledge in omega okay what, so what does this mean this means if you look at this this event omega such that the probability of a given f1 of omega is equal to q1 this is common knowledge in omega now, this being common knowledge in omega means that this event being common knowledge in omega, let us call this, let us call this event E1. Okay, E1 is common knowledge uh, in omega, which means E1 is, uh, E1 contains C of omega. Is this clear? So, uh, an event is common knowledge in omega if and only if it contains the connected component, right. Okay, so now what can we say about event A relative to C of omega? So how is A look, uh, oriented relative to C of omega? Okay, let's try to write the following first. Okay, so first let's. So what is this? This P of A given F F F one of omega is equal to Q one, and now E one is this event E1 is common knowledge, common knowledge in omega, which means it contains C of omega. C of omega itself is comprised of the union of, uh, the union of several elements of partitions of player 1. Now, let us take any one partition. Let us take for example, a partition F1J. Now, can you tell me how, what is P of A? what is p of a given f1 j so remember f1 j this this is what we we wrote right c of omega is the union of elements of uh, player 1's partitions player 1's partition now f1 j is one of those one of those elements then what is p of a given f1 j why is that equal to q1 Ah, so C, C, so F one J is one of these green, one of these uh, elements which are covered by the green region, right? As to, it is that, okay. So since it's one of the elements covered by this green region, what uh, what this means is that you know, so say for example this, so this uh, this here for instance, or or let's take this this for the red guy. Say for example this could this is f uh, f of omega okay f of omega is this one but you take any element outside this here in this green region the c of omega for that is going to for the, the connected component for that one is also going to be the same right and so therefore this event e1 is going to be common knowledge even in that state of the world the other state of the world here okay which means 
which means what which means that even in this state of the world here player 1 will give probability q1 to event a, event a okay so this is equal to q1 this is equal to q1 for all for all j such that right so for every uh, every element of player 1's partition which is contained in this connected component this is equal to q1 okay so now let's write this out this is actually rather simple p of so this is equal to q1 okay so now this is so i'll take this on the left hand side now so far so far just just an application of the formula so the point is this e1 being common knowledge means that in all these states of the world player 1 will still compute probability q1 okay so, so every state of the world in c of omega q is going to still compute probability q1 for event for event a okay now this so using that i have just expanded this out this way so all i need to now do is take summation over j where j ranges over such that f j f 1 j is a subset of c of omega this is equal to this ok now what is the left hand side so the left hand side is probability of a intersection c of omega how did i get that the reason is because these elements of the partition are disjoint and their union is c of omega all right so therefore the left hand side becomes uh, a probability of a intersection c of omega what about the right hand side exactly so it's probability of c of omega so this is q1 times probability of c of omega but then so which means what which means we have a intersect this is equal to q1 now what have we shown exactly the what, what did what have we ended up showing we started off with this right and this was true for every j for every every point in this green region for every every um, every element in this green region I expanded that out and then summed it up over j and I got that q1 is equal to p of a intersection c of omega divided by p of c of omega and what is this term this left hand side term the main whatever be its value the point is it is independent of the player I, st I started off writing this for player 1 and I got that q1 is equal to this if I started off writing it this for player 2 I would get q2 equal to this the same thing in other words q1 has to be equal to q2 right so therefore we have concluded that this here the point here is this left hand side this is independent of the player which means that q1 is equal to q2 this is i mean in some ways you know in hindsight almost seems uh, trivial the proof but you know the the point of major theorems usually is not the proof but the statement you know, coming up with the statement is the hard part to come up with to guess what is it that you need to prove not what is how to prove it is the hard part so, so this is uh, this is one more one example of that Okay, all right. So this is Omen's agreement theorem. Okay, any questions about this? Yeah. Hmm. 
this E1 being common knowledge. We have basically used that C of omega can be written as a union of partitions uh, of uh, regardless of what player it is. For player 1 it is a union of his partitions, player 2 it is a union of his partitions. So, no matter how the partitions are themselves arranged, C of omega somehow ends up becoming a union of their partitions. Okay, and that is that is basically what has been used. Okay. The common prior is P, the this this P here, the this is the or, or whatever this all of this, this is the prior probability that they begin with. No, this being the the what will fail exactly is this for all j. Yeah, yeah. So this this here, so so this being not being common knowledge will make this. No, so I mean there are approximate versions of this theorem also. For example, it is uh, you can have you can relax this the common knowledge to something being some approximate versions of it. Of course, this is this is uh, fairly uh, now fairly old. It's about uh, I think 80s if I am not wrong, 80s or 90s. So, uh, yeah, there are various uh, uh, various you know uh, sort of near versions of this where where you have where you will get Q1 is almost equal to Q2 and so on. 